What's going on guys, it's your boy Vex here bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to be doing a live commentary on a topic that I've wanted to talk about for a little bit of time now um, just for the simple fact because I've kind of gotten to that age and you know it's something that happens So what I'm going to be talking about today is going to the gym right? and this is a topic that's talked about so much maybe not necessarily on YouTube but it's talked about a lot by a lot of people um, so yeah, that's what I really want to talk about, so that's what I'm going to talk about. Um, okay, so to start off with, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself and the experiences I had with going to the gym. Middle school, I was a fat little prick. I'm not even going to try and hide it. Honestly, like, I was big, I was chubby, you know, I, 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 you know, everything under the sun, name it, I was probably that. Um, that, I'm putting that down to the fact that I used to live in the States and I couldn't eat healthy. Um, it was nothing to do with my parents because my parents are both healthy and my sister's healthy. So I'm putting it down to myself. Right? So, of course, I got to a time when I came into high school, ninth grade. Uh, of course, I was teased in middle school for it because, you know, kids will be kids, you know. You guys know that, I'm sure. Um, but I came into middle school obviously getting, getting bullied for it. And then when I finally got into high school, as everyone matured, I stopped being bullied for it. And I then started to take it on myself to think, you know, I've got to try and lose some weight. I want to try and get fit here, you know? So what I did was I, I ended up losing the weight um, because I started playing sport a lot more in terms of football. I was playing four or five times a week. But not only that, I started going to the gym. Now, some people will say, and I know, like, a lot of people will say this, going to the gym at 14 is probably a bit early. And you're probably right. A lot of people say you shouldn't go to the gym until 16, 17 because it does stunt your growth. But I started going early just because of how self-conscious I felt with myself. But a lot of people ask me how I got motivation to go to the gym and, and work out. And what I tell a lot of people is get a training partner. It really, really does help, actually. Um, get someone that will push you hard and you'll push hard and will motivate you to go to the gym. That will, you know, will text you or call you and say, yo, let's go to the gym. Um, that's, that's a really big thing for people to go to the gym. At least for me, um, at the beginning, it really did help me. Um, because, you know, it was someone to push me harder and someone to make sure I didn't just slack off. Um, so that's, that's, what, that's really what I have to say about myself and, and motivation to go to the gym. The thing I want to talk about is, is going to the gym for other people, right? Now, I'm not talking about going to the gym for, for a, a, a workout trainer, a workout buddy, because that's different. Because, you know, you've, you've set up that, that's a relationship that, that the two of you have. And your relationship is to go to the gym together. Like, that's completely different. But I'm talking about going to the gym for someone else. I'm talking about going for girls, going for your girlfriend, going for your boyfriend, whatever it may be. Now, we all go through that stage in life where we think, well, I need to, you know, I need to lose this extra weight. I need to try and slim down or I need to try and bulk up. I'm skinny as hell. You know, I'm trying to put some muscle on. And that's completely fine for people to say and think that. Like, I'm all for it if you want to go and work out. Completely, I think that's great. I think it's good to see people getting healthy. But what what pisses me off, and you know, and it really does make me angry, is when someone's going to the gym for other people's benefits, right? You're going to the gym for the ladies. You're going to the gym because you think girls like big guys, big buff, bulk guys. And that's all well and good. You can believe that. But nine times out of ten, unless the girl's a real stuck-up cow. She's going to pick a nice guy over some guy that goes to the gym to get big. I, I, I'm going to promise you that right now. Like, that is my promise to you. 100% every time. Go to the gym for other people, man. Don't do that. Don't go and waste your time for other people. Go because you want to go. Go because you want to make yourself healthier. Don't go for other people. And then if you do decide to go to the gym and you do start to, you know, you start to work up a little body props to you. You're starting to get the muscles. Fair enough. Don't be an ass in the gym. Don't go to the gym. If you don't know what you're doing, fair enough. But if you go to the gym and you, you know you what you should be doing, and then you go and you just lift heavy weights, other people think that you're strong. Don't do that. People know. Everyone can tell when you're lifting big weights and you know you do one or two reps just look big. People can tell. And then and then people who do again get the muscles, props to you, and then go and show it off. It's okay to be modest. It's okay to like Show off your muscles when it's like time to show them off. When, you know, when the time is right. Don't go round places with your shirt off when when you don't have to. People find it dickish. Especially girls. Is and I found myself doing this and I you know, I go to the gym three or four times a week plus playing football. Um 
and I found people doing this a lot when they went to the gym. And that was going to the gym and missing out on, on quality time with family or missing out on time with friends instead of going to the gym. Like, uh, like there was just one prime example. All my friends were going out one night to see a movie and, you know, I wanted to go work out. You know, working out, it, it, I, I enjoy it, but it's not the end of the world if I miss a workout. And I went to the gym instead of going out to see a movie. And they had one of the, apparently one of the greatest nights ever. They found it so fun. And like, don't, it, it kind of goes back to the fact that like, go to the gym for yourself, but also like, don't go to the gym all the time when, you, when you're missing out on these opportunities. Like, you're only, you're only so young for so long. And I don't think people should miss out on those opportunities, you know, when they could be out with their friends having fun. I don't think it's the right thing to do. So, don't go out, don't go out and miss fun times with your family or fun times with your friends to go to the gym. Trust me, in the long run, it's not worth it. It, it really isn't, because friends do last longer than fitness at the end of the day, unless you turn out to be some fucking bodybuilder, which props to you if you do, because, you know, I, that takes dedication. Right now. You know, going to the gym, starting off at the gym, things like that. When I started off at the gym, I was super self-conscious, and I know a lot of people are self-conscious when they start going to the gym. Um, and that's completely fine. It's pretty normal to go to the gym uh, when you start going to the gym. But you know, I always saw it two ways. When I started going to the gym, when I had too much weight, I, I, you know, I was thinking all these people look at me, thinking, "What do I look like? What have I driven myself to?" Right? And I've realized now that I've lost that excess weight, and I've, I've got some experience in the gym, that people don't think that. In fact, they think quite opposite. They think that you're in there. To, to better yourself for your own health you know like they're not thinking oh look at that guy he's got a few extra pounds on no not at all they're thinking this guy yeah okay he does have a few extra pounds on but he's here to fix it he's here to fix the problems that he has and props to him for doing so he's not like the there's so many hundreds of thousands of people that are fat and could do something about it but don't and that's the that's like there's two completely different ways you could view it um, and it's the same with, uh, you know, going to the gym to get muscles. Like, you can go with the, the attitude that people are looking at you thinking how skinny you are, or you can go with the attitude that people are looking at you saying, wow, actually, he's trying to do something. He's trying to do something with his life. He's trying to do something with his fitness. And a lot of people respect that. They really, really do. I really respect that. When I see someone like that in the gym, I think, you know what? I don't care what you look like. I don't care. You're in here for a reason. You're doing the work to get yourself fit. Props to you, man. Because a lot of people don't have the dedication or they don't want to put the time and effort in to do it. And anyone that does deserves to be credited for it. Battle Lobby, I don't really know why that happened. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you didn't, refresh your page and give it another try. Anyway, guys, this has been your boy Vex. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.